at the last change for labor markets in terms of wage floors. Examples of wage floors may be a government mandated minimum wage, which will prevent the wage from falling to equilibrium, or potentially a union negotiated wage, which will serve as a wage floor preventing the wage from falling to the equilibrium. Let's take a look at how this would look on the graph. In the labor market, a wage floor, whether it be a minimum wage, a union negotiated wage, it will be a wage above the equilibrium. This is going to create unemployment in this market. This is the quantity demanded of workers or the number of jobs available. This is the quantity supplied of labor, which is a number of people who are seeking jobs. The distance between the quantity demanded and the greater quantity supplied is the number of workers unemployed. Okay, let's take a look at how this affects the firm. In the firm, this new wage comes across as a higher wage, a new MRC, and therefore a new profit maximizing point, where MRC equals MRP, the number of workers that will be hired by this firm is less than what it would be at the equilibrium wage.